we're moving into a posture called Supta Padangustasana. And you don't have to be able to pronounce this pose to reap the benefits from it. I especially love this pose for runners because it stretches out the hamstrings and the IT band. So Natalie here is going to demonstrate. She's starting with her knees bent, feet flat. And I'm going to pass her a yoga strap. You don't need one of these. Um, you can use a, a bathrobe tie or a necktie or a rolled up towel. She's placing the strap over the ball of her foot. And she's going to do a simple tie here, like as if you were tying your shoes. And this enables her to hook her right hand and that way her hand and wrist aren't being strained in this position. Natalie, could you shorten the strap up so that your right arm is straight? So those of you at home, you want to make sure this arm is straight. The shoulder blade will be on the floor, but the shoulder itself will be lifting just a little bit. Okay, now she's going to really activate this leg. So I want Natalie to reach up through the heel, spread the toes, push the ball of the foot into the strap, and at the same time, I want her to gently yawn open the back of her right knee here. So bringing the stretch into the back of the knee. From the crease of the knee up through the heel, I want her to press up. And from the crease of the knee down through the back of the hamstring, I want her to press down into the floor. So her pelvis and her back is not lifting up off of the floor here. Natalie's got a lot of flexibility. She's able to keep this leg straight. So I'm going to have her straighten this bottom leg out. And I'm going to give her a really nice adjustment here where I give this extended leg a little bit of an internal rotation. And then I give the leg that's in the air a little bit of external rotation. And this creates some nice traction in the hip, some nice space in the hip socket. She looks like she's enjoying that. Good. OK, so after you've held here for anywhere from one to five minutes, I'll have you turn your thigh out. So make sure the rotation comes from the head of the thigh bone. Her toes now point to the upper right-hand corner of the room. Natalie, begin to take your leg out to the side. And I'm going to stand here and just apply some pressure into her left pelvis so that this side of her body isn't lifting off the floor. If you're doing this at home without someone to help you, you just put your own hand on your hip bone. She's going to hold here, take a few slow, deep breaths. Her emphasis is still on keeping this leg perfectly straight. And then after a few moments, she's going to bring it back through center. Nicely done. Switch hands with your strap, Natalie. Good. I want her to keep this hip moving down. And now, just bring your right big toe slightly on the diagonal towards your left ear. This is the IT band stretch that I was talking about. Really great for runners. 99% of us have a lot of tightness here through the outside of the leg and the hip. So taking a couple of deep breaths in yoga, we always want to remember to breathe. Don't hold your breath. And then you can bring the leg back to center. Let the strap go. Bend your knee into your chest. And rest for a few moments before moving over to the other side. So I hope this pose benefits all of the runners out there. Be sure to include it in your stretching routine. In yoga, we say that the highest in me sees the highest in you. Namaste.